I've learned a big lesson through all this, which is, you know, stop impulse buying. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I am in a really good mood. Why? Because it's Friday, because I'm making a video, because um, a number of things in my life are um, getting resolved and better that have been really stressful. And I am just excited to make this video, which is overdue. Um, and that is talking about what did I buy when my no buy in September ended. So this is some of the things that I bought on October 1st and then some things that I bought later on during the month of October, um, just making what I thought were thoughtful decisions considering not being impulsive. Um, but enough about that. Let's get to the makeup instead of talking about my feelings. If you are new here, welcome. I really hope you'll subscribe and consider joining um, my community. My motto is have fun every day. Do something awesome every day for yourself or for someone else, whatever. Um, let me switch my camera and we'll go over the makeup. Okay, so let me brush off. There always manages to be a dog hair, no matter how much I try. You see my nails, I'll talk about that in a minute. So, okay, what did I buy? Um, some were the things that I said, I, I have a little bag here, so I'm very organized. The first thing I bought, was this quad from Kaleidos. I was um, on the fence a little bit back and forth, but I kept going back because, you know, as I've always said, I love packaging. So this is like soft packaging and it has lace over it and it's just really pretty and it just feels good. Um, and then when you open it, I just love this kind of glam, black and white color story. So um, let's do this super soft shimmer. I mean, that is just amazing. So as soon as I opened it and I swatched that, I said, oh my, um, this was a good purge. I love that. This matte here is so, it's so creamy and I love that. It looks a little different on the skin than the pan. It's, it's like a putty gray and I absolutely love that this is darker gray for an uh deepening up the crease and then that black is just insane and I you know you can imagine anybody starting with eyeshadow black can be terrifying and now I love black because um it just it, it just does something that I think no other shade can do. It just gives so much more drama, but you can control the drama. So anyway, here's the Kaleidos Quad. Um, I don't even remember what this one is called. I'll put it on the bottom. You know, there was this one and there was one that was a little more of a brown warm toned. And um, I got this, I love it. And I haven't worn it yet, just swatched, but um, that was an October 1st purchase. I don't know if this was October 1st, but because you know, Pat McGrath has been putting this holiday collection out at in, in like little bits and chunks. So whenever it was available, it might've been October 1st, I got the holiday palette. Um, let me get rid of that. So it's very colorful, it's very pretty. And I've not used this one yet, but I really like how this one is set up, the way they, they talk about it, where, you know, this could be a palette, and this could be a palette, and this could be, you know, a palette or a color story, um, I guess I mean. So, um, I love a good metallic shimmer. So, there is that one there. Can you see it there? Um, so, this is like a gold. Let's try this one put it here. That's a little more yellow, a little more of a yellow gold compared to this one. Um, let's try a color. I'm always, I'm always a sucker for blue. Um, 
not I I'm not brave it's funny like I'll wear black on my eyes but I have not I have not uh you know ventured into um you know blue yeah that's a beautiful purple beautiful purple and you know so I like purple and then of course I need a clean finger not not glamorous but does the job as the green so um I'm I'm happy I got this. I'm excited to use it, and um, yeah, there's that one. Uh, let me clean off my hand so I can do more swatches. Be right back. Okay, the next thing that I got, I talked about these. These are the um, the eyeliners from Kaleidos. Um, I ended up getting every color because I couldn't decide, and then. Really, if I got three, I don't remember what it was, but basically shipping was expensive. So it, it actually, you know, if I got all of them, I got free shipping. So it's kind of like for, I don't know, $20 more, I could get all of them as opposed to getting three and paying a lot. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, I just said, um, let me just get them all because they're all pretty. And... Um, I, um, they're soft. I already broke one of them from my excitement in, in swatching, but they're, uh, really pretty. And, um, I have not used these yet. You know, I have not used any of these things yet because I put them, I put them in a bag on my, this one is limelight and the one before it was tourmaline this one now is seven c so i i had them in a bag you know waiting to make a video and therefore i just haven't used any but now i'm gonna right after this video i'm gonna put them right on my counter this is solaris So cool, so cool. I cannot wait to use these. I am really getting much more adventurous with my makeup. This is the one I was so excited that as soon as I touch it, I think this one broke. Um, but just the just the the end of it came off. This is Sea Sparkle. And then the finally we have Night of Creation. Oh no, this is the one that <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the tip. It's a little bit smashed. Um, but that's okay. There's the, the casualty of my excitement. Um, put that away. So, um, yeah, I, I'm glad I got these. I mean, there's, there's like nothing else like them. Everybody else raves about how great they are. So, you know, that helps having waited to watch other people's videos and get the first impressions. And, um, I... I just love them and you know uh Halloween's coming up so I mean like starting this weekend I'm just gonna like be wearing crazy eye looks you know maybe the this purple and this orange one and I don't know I'm just totally gonna have fun with it so I'm happy with this purchase and I'm glad that I waited to think it out and make sure that I wanted it. I'm happy with this purchase, and I'm glad I waited to think about it. So I did get that I was looking at um, one of the Charlotte Tilbury Pop Shots, and I got it in the color Smoky Quartz, as you can see. Um, it's adorable, right? It's small. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. And somebody had said, you know, oh, it's going to look like some ditzy plastic thing with rhinestones all over it. And that was, I saw that after I had bought it. And, and these are expensive. This was, I think, $34. Um, so I was like, oh, there's $34 to waste. But it came and it, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, it feels very nice quality. And then there's the shadow. Um, I got smoky quartz because I don't really have anything I think is this color and I I like it and I you know I've made a video all about eyeshadow singles and I I just find I love singles something about them you know there's this one option this one choice I like wearing 
uh, just singles. And, um, but then I also thought when I was looking at this, geez, this was $34. This looks like the size of one of the shadows in a quad. So I have, I happen to have one Charlotte Tilbury quad and actually it's much bigger. I think these are like 52 or 54. And this was 34. So I think you get like, it's like the equivalent of almost like two shadows worth of, product here versus here um you know the the packaging is different so um so i got that pop shot and um this one was just to show and make that point once i got that pop shot and because i liked it so much i actually went back and i bought um i actually bought two more and I got um, Cosmic Rocks, which is the blue one. And I got Sunlit Diamond, which is this one. And the blue just, um, you know, I've seen other people, uh, the blue is just magical. Um, it's sort of like a blue to purple. It's... I'm going to actually, I, I finally have a good ring light and I think it's making it worse. I don't know. Um, so it's really, really, really pretty. And then I usually don't like warm colors. So I actually got this because I said, you know, why don't I wear warm? Why don't I try it? If you're going to, if you're going to wear something warm, then like take it to the nth degree and go warm go like completely sparkly amazing right so i got it and um i really i really like these i just love small things i love sweet things i love the shadows i love the stone i just love everything about it um remember like i said i'm in a really good mood today so i am happy with these purchases and i'm glad um that i waited and i took the time I also, um, I got two of these, the two Pat McGrath um, five quads. So um, I couldn't decide I got both. It will not stay open, so that's okay. Um, so gorgeous, as you can see, I've not used it yet because they've been in my, my bag. Um, I basically got the idea from, uh, and I'm sure other people do this, but I got the idea from Morgan Turner, where she showed um, one time a tour of her beauty room in her studio. And basically she would have either just shopping bags or boxes where she would have all the palettes in it that she wanted to talk about for a particular video. And I thought that was such a good idea. So now I have little, I have like three shopping bags on my window cell and that's where everything has been. Um, so um, this one is Bronze Bliss and um, so pretty. Let's, let's swatch it. Um, now my, sorry, the back of my hand's a little wet from just washing it, but will my light help? No, unless I go over here a little bit. Let me pull this over, see if that helps. Not really, but anyway. Um, all right, let me skip the darker shade to do it. The, uh, that one's amazing. It's like, it's gold and silver. That's just amazing. These feel super soft. Um, I think the quality in these feel nicer than in this palette. It doesn't mean they won't go on as well, but these feel just softer than in the big palette. Um, and this one's kind of like a copper. I mean, ugh, just stunning. And then this is, um, there's the black, which is more like a charcoal. It's not really black. And it's called La Vie Noir. Um, whatever. I, I, I love it. I love the size. I love the shades. I love everything. Um, I want to just stare at my hand 
all day, but I cannot. So, um, and then there's this one, which is Nude Allure. And um, let me clean off my, f oh, actually, no, let me go this way, okay. I can't seem to think straight today. So let's start here. Let's do this hand. Let's mix it up. I never swatch the back of my right hand. Okay, there's that. Um, yeah, these feel really nice, really nice. I, I'm interested in trying to do pink again. You know how I always talk about I don't like pink because it's just hard. It's such a hard color, I think, for a lot of people, too. It's so pretty. Um, you know, find a shade that looks... Um, Mm. That one's nice. So this one, definitely, this is more of a, a neutral. Really beautiful, and I like this tone. This is a tone that I like. It's kind of like a mauve sort of taupey hybrid. Um, I, I like this shade, and so, um, you know, this all over the lid and the crease, and then maybe this on the lid. Um, I can't wait to use it. Okay, um, what else did I get? I also got from Pat McGrath, I got um, this blush. And I actually have two other Pat McGrath blushes, so I just pulled them out to show you. Um, I also had pulled them out, so it was like, make sure that I didn't do something. So there's the three. This is the new one, the holiday, and then there's these two. So... You know, it's a blush, but I like it. It's a very kind of nude. I, I think it's almost like a healthy looking color, right? Like you look healthy when you wear this. This one, you look like you've been out exercising. Um, this one, I don't know. You have a fever. I don't know what it is. But anyway, they're all good. Um, so I got that one. And then I got this highlighter. And I have yet to do... A video about my small highlighter collection and highlighter is something that I'm trying to use I feel like it doesn't stick to my skin or I'm doing something wrong I don't know that's a that's a whole other video but um, I'm excited to use this and I'm optimistic that this is really going to work for me and maybe seem easier to use or easier to see or something because I feel like I put it on and then I put blush and then it's gone, but it could also be the brand I'm using, whatever. Like I said, another video to come. There's a, there's a preview for you. So let me put these two aside and this goes here. Um, when you buy, uh, when I bought from Pat McGrath, you get this um, makeup bag for free, and you get a Pat McGrath lip balm. So, you know, you just have to spend a million dollars on her website, and you get a lip balm. So there you go. Um, but I like her packaging. I like to use lip balm. My lips are always dry, especially in the winter. I mean, it's it's it, it gets actually uncomfortable sometimes how dry my lips get. So the more lip balm, the better. Okay, there goes that. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, I got one of the face palettes. Um, I have, I got the, I think the lighter one, Fair, yeah, Fair to Medium. And um, I have used it once. I used this shade, I think. And the one thing I feel like is you really have to dig into it to get any color out. So, I mean, that's not a... And again, it's, it's bright. Um, there you can kind of see it. You have to dig into it. So I don't, I don't know if you have to really just rub into it a little bit before products start coming. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being too gentle with these. I don't know. <sighs> but um, anyway, I'm excited to use this. Here's, you know, another highlighter, two highlighters. So between the two, I don't have any, um, I don't have many highlighters 
Um, so I'm excited to play with this. I used it once. I was happy with this shade. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, how do these two shades compare? I think they're they're kind of similar, huh? Um, that's okay. All right. So I'm I'm happy with that. This was something else that I said I wanted to get during my no buy, and I followed through and got it. So next is um, let me try to back up a little. This palette from Besame. They have their Disney Villains collection, and it's a beautiful collection, um, but really very, um, very pricey. This this palette was priced as 120, I guess, and then I got in the mail a coupon from them, and um, so I was interested in it. I saw a video by Heather Austin and um talking about it and so i said you know what i want it i've thought about it uh, i'm gonna get it so it's really really nice quality it really looks like an old book um it, it's it's beautifully done this is you know faux leather this thing here um they show you how to get different looks um you know property of the queen so, and then here's the palette that comes out, and the palette is really, really pretty. And it has a pretty mirror with these cute little details around the end. Um, so I, um, I'm really, really um, excited about this. This green is like a forest green. It's deep and sparkly and beautiful. Um, the, the shades feel really soft. Um, I mean, the quality feels lovely. And, um, again, have not used because it's been in my bag on my drawer, but, uh, on my windowsill, I mean. But, you know, the black seems like a good black, a, a substantial black. Um, there we go. My hand wasn't in focus. Let's try this. Let's try this purple. A lot of people like purple. I mean, really, <sighs> very pigmented and, and really nice. Um, oh my God, what a mess, but it's a good mess. I'm having fun. Um, let's try this one for, for people out there who like their neutral palettes, and that includes myself really nice this is a shimmer so okay let's do one more oh that's a press glitter which i i kind of don't mind press glitters i think used in moderation and you know carefully placed on the lid i i don't i don't necessarily have a have a problem with them this is a nice gold right um okay i gotta do one more So um, there you go. So I, I love this. Um, I'm happy I got it. Um, and you know, what's interesting is I think it just kind of proves the point of, you know, rather than buying based on impulse in the moment, if you just wait and think about it, there are a lot of things that I did not buy. Um, that I was looking at and I haven't even thought about it but these I have purchased and I'm really happy I just I just love everything about it so what did I do I ended up um okay my uh my camera died um in the middle of talking about that but I think um you get the point I I bought it I like it it's unique it's different uh I'm excited to use it the last thing I want to show you about what I bought <clears throat> on October 1st or 2nd, those first few days, um, is this. I saw this on Trend Mood. Um, I saw some other people talking about it when they were talking about new makeup releases. And I just thought it was so interesting. So this is um, an eyeshadow or pigment palette. I don't know what to call it. Press powder pigments can be used wet or dry. 
Um, so this is a collaboration between Harry Styles um, brand Pleasing and a Brazilian artist, Marco Ribeiro. And um, I just thought it was so different and unique and interesting looking. So um, there's this. There's also um, a set of nail polishes, um, which I also bought. I'll show you in a second. And um, so this is one of those things like I bought not knowing what to expect. It's certainly very different. So you see, it's this box here. And then when you open it, these are these press pigments that can be, with exception of the pink one, um, which is not supposed to be used around the eye area, these can be, you know, used in any way. So um, it's, uh, you know, let me give you some swatches. So there's the green. Here's the orange. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do the white. All right, here's this kind of a navy blue. Um, I need another finger. Let's use my pinky for this purple. So I wouldn't I wouldn't go too much by the swatches because I've been cleaning the backs of my hands like a million times um, and uh, my skin's very dry uh, today but anyway it's um, it's interesting it's different it's um, oh my hand wipes are done um, but what it also does is um, this comes out right it's a magnetic palette so it's more than just this you can keep it like this with the insert but you can which is probably what I would do is you know you can put these in here any way you want and maybe you can put um, other things in here so it's an interesting concept and you know, the jury's out right now. What I think about it, I have to use it and let you know. But this is one of those purchases that, you know, I don't know what that is. I want to see it uh, more closely. But, uh, you know, I, I love the packaging. I love the aesthetics of the packaging. I love the color scheme. Um, so, uh, and with this, it's easiest to, I've learn by playing with this it's just just playing with the palette part alone what about this does this come out no so this is a magnetic palette um so you can put that in there there you go there you go there you go okay and then in addition um there was the set of nail polishes um also done a collaboration with this Brazilian artist. And so the colors, first of all, I thought the bottles were just, this is just totally what I love, like minimalistic, you know, sculptural, um, just aesthetically nice to look at and to hold. Um, so I got the set. I did my nails for the first time <laughs> in years. The manicure itself that I did is horrible, but I, I can't say the the polishes are very nice. I just like, I just threw it on. I have not had a manicure. My cuticles are a mess. Everything's a mess. Um, the polishes actually, you get quite a bit of product. They're thick. They easily go on um, with one coat, you know, two coats if you want something a little more opaque one thing i did not realize but that was because of me not um at all because of the brand this one was sheer so i was just surprised at first uh, when i put it on and i thought it had separated but it had not it's just um a very kind of sheer uh, color it's like orange juice i would say so I I put it over 
this kind of chartreuse color to make it look orange, but um, it does not come out looking this way. Um, it also comes with, so this was its own set, and then I had to buy the brown separate. Um, I think in retrospect, I wouldn't have bought the brown and just gone with these, but that's okay. And then it comes with all these stickers. So what I love about it is um, you can, they're just peel and stick, and then um, you can probably put a base coat over it, or I mean a top coat over it to seal it in or something like that, but you can just make everything kind of very geometric. It's just very, I think the color scheme is very, um, I mean, the, I think the name pleasing nails it. Um, the color scheme is whimsical. Um, the bottles are whimsical. And actually, these bottles aren't unique to this collaboration. He has other bottles of nail polish, um, other kind of color schemes. And when I looked at those, there's usually one color that is very sheer. So that seems to be it is. And in this case, it's the orange one. But they're, you know, they're thick. They go on very nice. Um, there's videos by other people, including somebody who had a video that they posted, not of these polishes, but of other polishes. And she was both a Harry Styles fan and a nail technician. <laughs> and so she did a video and she actually said these were um, a really nice product. So I, um, as you can see, I did my nails. Um, I think they're fun. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments. Um, it's like a it's like a Halloween version of a rainbow, I guess. Okay, so um, that summarizes what I got. Uh, let me know what you think, if you've gotten any of these products. Um, examples of things that I did not get is, um, I did not get the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I have not gotten, um, I have not gotten the Hourglass Compact. I still have my eye on it, but uh, I'm researching a little more. But now that I found out that you can buy the insides, the shades, the blushes and highlighters, and then pick out which outside you want, I, I may go for it, because then I can get the Tiger um, outside with the Elephant insides at least how they um, propose it. Um, yeah, a, a bunch of other things that I looked at and I considered, but um, I have not gotten. So I will keep you updated what I think of these products. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with the purchases. And um, yeah, I'll stop there. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I love talking about uh, makeup and and making these videos. Um, have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.